In this video, let us see that how we can implement a OR gate with a circuit in uh, multi-SIM. So for that, we need uh, two switches here. So from where we will get the switch. So you go to this uh, library and from here you can go to the basics. And in the basic, you will find there is a switch. So there are uh, so many switches are available. So what we need is a single pole, single throw switch. Like uh, single pole is there and one single throw will be there. So that switch will take. And uh, to make a gate, we have two inputs. So we'll take a copy of this one. So I'll just copy paste it. And we need two switches here, fine. Now in the output, we need a LED to uh, see whether it is working or not. So for that, we'll go to this uh, uh, diodes or TTL. Sorry, you, you need to go to diodes. And from here, we can uh, find that LED will be there. But the easiest way is uh, rather than finding like this, what you can do, you can go to here all groups and uh, find LED here. So once you type LED, you will see so many LEDs will be there, blue, green, IR, orange, red. So let us take red in this case so that it will be properly visible in the simulation. So I am taking a red LED here, fine. Okay, after that what I need, I need a power source, DC power source. Basically, I will take a, a from power sources, I will take a DC power here. <coughs> and I will keep the DC power here, fine. So how to do the connection? So as I know that this will be connected here and because it's a OR gate, so it will be connected in parallel. So I am connecting these two switches in parallel. So other ends also will connect it, okay. Now how the LED will be connected? One end of the LED will be connected to this output here and another end will be connected to your battery negative terminal. So generally see in your uh, uh, LED, see it is just a diode symbol. So from here you can understand which one is your uh, positive terminal, which is negative terminal here. And always remember in multi-SIM, whatever simulation you do, you should have a ground there. So I'm taking a ground and I will connect it to the negative terminal. This also you should keep in mind that the ground is always connected to the negative terminal. Now my circuit is complete here. So how does the OR gate work? So it says that if S1 and S2 are two inputs for me, so OR gate says if any one of them is equals to on, that means switch is closed, then the LED will glow. So here if I play, uh, um, click on the simulation button here, you can see, now the LED is not glowing, blank arrow marks are shown here. So if I close any of these switches, now it is glowing. If I close both the switches, then also it's glowing. If I switch on another one, then one switch is on here, it is also glowing. If I make both the switches off, then it is going off. So this is how simply you can make a OR gate using circuit, fine. So in the next video, we'll see how you can implement a OR gate with basic logic elements available in the multi-SIM.